Iodine is a shiny solid that is violet black in color. The chemical formula for iodine is I2, which means the two iodine atoms connect together to make each iodine molecule. When solid iodine is heated, it turns into a beautiful purple vapor. Let's watch the formation of this vapor as a beaker filled with solid iodine is placed on top of a hot plate. Watch what happens if we dim the lights and shine a green laser through the iodine vapor. If you look carefully enough, you can see that the green laser appears to shift to a yellow color as it passes through the vapor. The color shift to yellow is much more easily seen in this video clip. What's going on is that the laser is inducing fluorescence in the iodine vapor. Let's see what happens if we turn the lights out. Holy cow, that looks like a laser show. There's a lot going on in this experiment, but for now I think I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the show. We're now going to take some time to describe some of the science behind the many observations seen in this experiment. First, let's try to describe the purple color of the iodine vapor. This graph represents the absorption spectrum of iodine vapor. It tells us what colors of light iodine vapor absorbs really well. For example, look here in the green region. There's a really large peak there. That tells us that iodine vapor absorbs green light really well. On the other hand, iodine vapor does not absorb light well in the blue and the red regions. We can see that because there's no peaks in the blue or the red region of the spectrum. If we block out the color of light that iodine vapor absorbs really well, that is to say the green, we're left with the colors of light that easily pass through the iodine vapor and into your eyes. From looking at the graph, we see that purple, blue, a little bit of yellow, orange, and red easily pass through iodine vapor. If we add these colors together, we get purple light. And that's why iodine vapor looks purple, because the colors of light that pass through the iodine vapor and into your eye, well, they look purple. Now let's try to describe this effect where we shine a green laser through the purple iodine vapor and the laser beam appears to shift to a yellow color. To describe this effect, let's imagine a molecule of iodine being illuminated with a green photon from a laser. Because iodine absorbs green light really well, the photon becomes absorbed by the iodine molecule. This causes electrons in the iodine molecule to become excited. The energy of excitation exactly matches the energy of the green photon. Some of this excitation energy gets transferred to other iodine molecules through collisions. During the collision, some of the excitation energy gets transferred to and carried away by the other molecule. This causes the excited iodine molecule to lose some energy. As a result, the excitation energy no longer corresponds to a green photon, but rather to a lower energy yellow photon. Finally, the excited iodine molecule releases this excitation energy as yellow light. This is what causes the color shift from green to yellow. Finally, we'll describe how this experiment causes a crazy laser show effect. To understand how this occurs, we first need to recognize that some of the iodine vapor forms tiny solid crystals when it hits the sides of the container. We're going to take the lid off this beaker to see if some of these tiny iodine crystals have formed on the lid. Yep, it looks like I can see some. They look like little droplets of liquid, but they're actually solid. These crystals don't just form on the lid, they form on the sides of the beaker too. So when laser light is shined onto the sides of the beaker, it hits these solid crystals and is reflected in all directions. The laser light being scattered all over the place is what causes the laser show effect. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about how you can use chemistry to make your very own laser show. Thanks so much for watching.